Traveling around Europe with a dog is a lot of fun because many countries are not that big and offer a huge variety when it comes to nature and culture. Our dog Felix has been to more than 30 countries in Europe and today we will rate how dog friendly they actually are and explain where we had some problems. But one more thing before we start. To travel around the European Union, your dog needs some special papers and vaccinations, but once you got them, you can literally cross the borders as many times as you like, because in the Schengen area there are no border controls. To enter European countries that are not part of the EU, like Norway or the UK for example, it's a bit more difficult. If you want to know more about entry regulations for dogs to enter certain countries, you can check out our dog travel guide where we explain everything in detail. The link is in the description down below. Okay, first up is Germany, our home country. We visited most parts of it. Mountains, old towns, beaches and can guarantee you that it's very dog friendly. You can literally bring your four-legged friend everywhere into restaurants, shopping malls, parks and most people are very kind to dogs. The only exceptions are museums, supermarkets and bakeries. At most restaurants dogs often get a bowl and the staff treats them like VIP guests. Many cities have fenced off parks where dogs can run free and at public parks there are usually free poop bags for dog owners to use. What we also love is that many public transportations like buses, metros etc. in cities offer free rides for pets. In the long distance trains dogs usually cost the price of a child. Many hotels are also pet friendly and if you don't know how to find one you can just go to your preferred booking website and make sure you look for the pet friendly filter in the settings. At public beaches dogs are usually only allowed from October to April but dog beaches are often not that far away and you can go there all year around. All in all we would give Germany a 10 out of 10. Next up the Netherlands. They are as dog friendly as Germany is and dogs get treated like kids here. The rules are almost the same and we've been to this beautiful country so many times already because we always feel very welcome here. If you travel to Amsterdam with your pup, make sure to rent a bike with a basket for your dog because it's such a fun way to explore the city. In Amsterdam we also stayed at a hotel that offered room service for dogs. <laughs> this was so exceptional and never happened to us before. That's why we give the Netherlands a 10 out of 10. Let's continue with France. Overall, I would say France is very dog friendly, but there's one thing that's really annoying. In Paris, there are a lot of beautiful parks, but most of them don't allow dogs at all. The other rules are mostly the same, like in Germany and the Netherlands, and we barely had any problems when we traveled with Felix through France. And we've been to many, many places there. But whenever I share how much we love to explore France with Felix on Instagram, I get so many messages from French people saying that living in France with a dog is horrible. So let me know what you think if you are from France. <laughs> we would rate it a 9 out of 10. Next up is Spain. Compared to the previous countries, Spain is rather dog unfriendly, except for Barcelona. In this city it feels like everyone has a dog, which is so so nice. But everywhere else we went we had some difficulties. Unfortunately, many people feel offended by dogs. We often got rejected when we entered a restaurant and shops or malls with Felix. Many beaches also don't allow dogs at all, all year round, and there are not many dog beaches as alternatives. When we visited Gran Canaria, we even got stopped by the police because we weren't cleaning every spot Felix had marked with some water. We learned that in many Spanish cities it's a rule that every time you walk your dog you need to carry a water bottle to clean the pee. We also learned that in some cities there are completely dog free zones like at the promenade in Las Palmas in Gran Canaria next to the beach where it's prohibited to walk around. This forced us to go big detours and was very sad. That's why Spain will only get 6 out of 10 points from us. Let us know if you made different experiences. Let's continue with Italy. In Italy dogs get treated like queens and kings and every time we walk around with Felix in an Italian city so many people stop us and tell us how wonderful he is. This makes traveling just so much fun. At European hotels dogs usually get charged an additional dog fee for cleaning but in Italy this was barely the case for us. Lots of hotels allow dogs and they can stay completely for free. At many beaches there are no rules if dogs are allowed or not so you can even bring them during high season. No restaurant ever told us that we can't bring Felix and even some supermarkets allow dogs. The people are just super relaxed and they are happy if your dog is happy. Italy gets a 10 out of 10. 
Switzerland is next. It's a wonderful country to travel if you love the outdoors. There are so many beautiful hikes and extraordinary hotels. And the best part, you can bring your dog almost everywhere. It's comparable to Germany and the Netherlands, that's why it gets a 10 out of 10. Let's do Austria now. There are the same rules like in Switzerland and we love to travel there with Felix. The only thing we don't like is that in the capital Vienna many beautiful parks don't allow dogs, which is quite sad. That's why Austria gets a 9 out of 10. Next up is the UK. Traveling to the UK for dogs is not as easy as it was before because since the country is no longer part of the European Union, most dogs need a warm treatment 24 hours before entering, additionally to the other paperwork. So far we've only been to London with Felix and overall we would say that the city is very pet friendly. Dogs can ride on the tube for free, they can enter many places like restaurants and shops, but we had some problems with shopping malls because they only accept handbag sized dogs. I am pretty sure traveling the countryside with a dog would be wonderful because there are so many beautiful places to explore in nature. That's why we would give the UK a 9 out of 10. Let's now do Hungary. Compared to some other Eastern European countries, Hungary is rather dog friendly, even though some places are still a bit old fashioned and just restrict dogs from entering. In the capital Budapest, there are lots of dog parks, so it's quite fun to walk around. Hungary gets a 7 out of 10 from us. And the last one for today is Slovenia. It is very similar to Austria because it offers a great variety of nature and dogs can go to most parks and join you everywhere. We just had some problems to find dog friendly restaurants and there were not as many dog friendly hotels compared to other European countries. So we often rented apartments from private hosts. Slovenia gets a 9 out of 10 from us. That's it for today's video, but these were only 10 out of 47 countries in Europe and Felix has been to so many more. So let us know if you would like to have a part two of dog friendly countries in Europe and also let us know how your travel experience was with your pup or if you are currently planning a trip to one of the countries mentioned in the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for weekly Samoyed travel content. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.